On today's episode, I'll show you how to set that perfect retraction setting to get rid of the stringing, but not clog your printer. I'll explain it all on today's Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. Here's a cutaway view of a Creality hot end. You got your heat sink and then you got your heater block and you got your PTFE tube, which goes all the way down to the nozzle and then the filament runs inside of it. And when the filament gets down by the nozzle, it expands and becomes molten. And sometimes you get oozing out the nozzle when you move. And that's why you retract. When you retract a little bit, it relieves the pressure and hopefully gets rid of that stringing or the oozing. But how much do you retract? You don't want to retract too far that you get into that cooling zone because then that soft material hardens and could potentially block the filament from moving back down. So you want to retract just enough to relieve that pressure but stay in the hot zone. But you also don't want to be too hot with the filament because especially PLA can get really, really soft. So when you pull up on it, you're really not pulling the soft material. It's just stretching it. So you still get oozing. So you got to get that right temperature and you got to get the right retraction. And every filament is a little bit different. Well, Cura has a plugin to help you calibrate this. If you go up to Marketplace, you go into the plugins and you scroll down to the calibration shapes, you'll get a whole bunch of calibration prints. So I'll click on this and here's the list of calibration prints that are included with this plugin. We're only going to use a couple of them, but it's a very handy plugin. So install it. I've already done that and you have to restart Cura. And once you do, you'll come up here to extensions and you'll see part for calibration. And you got some basic ones like add a calibration cube, a cylinder, a tube. Just click on it and there's a calibration cube. It's not a chip cube, but it'll work. But what we're focusing on is something else that's in here. So we'll go to part for calibration and slide down to retraction tower. This is the retraction tower and is designed to test different levels of retraction from one through five. Now you can change it to whatever you want, but one through five typically works. So we're going to use this, but we also need to know the perfect temperature. So there's another one up here in part calibration called the PLA temp tower. There's also a PTG and ABS, but we're going to do the PLA temp tower. So let's bring this guy in. And now these two prints, I'm going to use these to calibrate that perfect retraction. Now the temperature tower starts at 220 here, it says, and goes to 180. So it goes down five degrees per level. Now normally you'd have to go into per model settings and set the heights to change the temperature or the retraction, or actually go into the G code and modify it. But this plugin actually has some scripts that work with this. If you go into the part for calibration menu, there's a copy script option. You click on that, then you have to restart Cura. And then when you go up to extensions and click on post processing modify G code, there'll be some added scripts that take care of this for you. So there's one for the retraction tower. And in there is where you can set the starting value, the increment value, and at what layer you want it to change. There's also a script for temp. It's called temp fan tower. Here you can set the initial temperature, how much you want it to change, and at what layer to change that temperature. So the first thing we need to do is run the temperature tower test to find the perfect temperature for this filament. We want it to be molten and flow good, but we don't want it too hot that it's going to ooze. So let's get rid of the retraction tower test and let's work on this guy. So let's look at this temperature tower script. It has a starting temperature of 220 degrees. Well, it turns out that's what it says in the temperature tower. And then it says it increments at minus five. So it's going down five degrees at each level and that's what it's showing on the print. So that matches. Then it says change layer at 38. So let's verify that. So I'm gonna slice it and then we'll look at it under preview. But I sliced it at 0.2 millimeters because I think that's what it's gonna match up to. So let's scroll down to 38 and there's 38 and sure enough, there's the level. That's where it's going to change temperature. So the next one should be 76. So there's 76 and it matches. So if you do a different layer height, you'll have to adjust that number, but 38 matches the 0.2 layer height. And then this thing will change all the way up to the top. So let's print this and see what is the best temperature. And here's the print, and unfortunately the camera just cannot pick it up as easily as I can see it. But at 180, it's just not bonding as well. There's spots where it's just not flowing. 
And then at 185, it gets a little better, but still not great. At 190, it starts to look a little better, but you can see it's just not as smooth as you know you would want. 195, it starts to look pretty good. And then at 200, it's looking really good. And then 205 to me is the best. And any of these could work, 195 to 205, but I like 205. At 210, 215, and then 220, I can just see it's starting to ooze too much. It's too soft. So I'm going to stick with 205 for the retraction test. I think that'll be the best. So here's the retraction tower, and it's got numbers on it as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, representing the retraction distance of 1 to 5 millimeters. So let's load that script, retraction tower. Let's get rid of the temperature tower. And now we have to select from the drop down. We can do speed or distance. I'm going to do distance. That's to me more important. So the starting value is one. The value increment is one. So we're going to go from one up to five and the layer change is 38 again. And you can display it on the LCD. It won't work on a V2, but if you have a regular ender, this would work. I'm going to use a 0.2 layer height again. I think that'll work with that level setting that was in the script. And I'm also going to make sure I'm set to 205, which we found with the temperature tower. So everything will print at 205. So let's slice this guy. And it says 44 minutes. So it doesn't take long to do these tests. So you can easily do this with various filaments. And let's look at the preview and make sure I got that transition point right. So let's go to layer 38. And there it is, there's the bridge, perfect. So if I go to 76, it should be the next bridge. And it is, so this is working perfect. So 0.2 layer height seems to work perfect for those scripts. So now let's print this guy and see what results we get. And here's the results. You can see with a one millimeter retraction, the stringing is horrible. At two, it's still not great. At three, it starts to get better, but they're stringing here. It's hard to see, but it's there. At four, they're still stringing at the bottom. And at five, it's perfectly clean, which is interesting because my profiles, I have it set to six, which works, but Cura has five. So I think I learned something here. This filament, which is my Filament Friday Red Filament, works better with five. There you have a very systematic way to figure out the best retraction for the filament you're using. Try it out and let me know how it works for you in the comments below. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the videos that are popping up. And if nothing else, click on that Chep logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.